The Courage of the Little Hummingbird, a tale told around the world. Written by Leah Henderson and illustrated by Magali Morales. Across oceans, lands, and skies, in villages, in towns, in cities and classrooms, in whispers, in shouts, and in many different languages, the story of the little hummingbird of the great forest is told. Long, long ago, flames crackled and leaped. Tree branches snapped, leaves crinkled. The great forest was ablaze. Animals dashed in every direction. They had no choice but to scurry away from the place they all called home. The fire sprang higher and higher as a troop of baboons, a shadow of jaguars, a roll of armadillos, a nest of snakes, a bed of sloths, a litter of rabbits, and a pandemonium of parrots all fled scared and unsure. The little hummingbird hovered for a moment, wary, as the long trail of animals waded into the river or flew across its waters. On the safer shore, the lion shook ash from his mane. The chimpanzee swung from a tree and pointed back at the flames. The elephant stamped her feet and the bear licked his wounded paw. None of them, nor the other animals, dared move back toward the fire. But the little hummingbird thought of each branch and each tree that protected so many of the animals and the nectar of each flower that fed her. How could she leave them helpless in the raging flames? She swooped down, fluttered her wings, and asked, are we going to let it all burn? The fire's too mighty, growled the lion. But you're the mightiest beast there is. Isn't there something you can do? The flames are much too high, cried the giraffe. Even for you, your head reaches the clouds. Can't you see the fire is too angry? bellowed the elephant. What if you come it with sprays of water from your trunk? questioned the little hummingbird. There must be something we can do. Nonsense, croaked the frog. It's too late, said the woodland piglin. It's hopeless, muttered the fox. Unfortunately, the wise old turtle declared, there's nothing to be done. The little hummingbird disagreed. She couldn't bear to see their forest home burn. But what could she do to help? The other animals stayed gathered, making sure everyone had made it out safe. Suddenly, the little hummingbird became a streak of color, racing across the sky. She dove deep, skimmed the river, and filled her tiny beak with water. Then she darted toward the flames. Wait, cried the mongoose, but the little hummingbird zipped straight for the roaring fire. No, howled the hyena. Stop, bleated the old copy. What's she doing, squealed the aardvark. Oh, that senseless hummingbird, screeched the owl. She thinks she can make a difference. Ignoring the shouts of her friends, the little hummingbird neared the heat and flames. Smoke hissed around her. Ash weighed down her wings. She opened her beak and released a single drop of water. The fire continued to rage. The little hummingbird returned to the water's edge. She scooped up another beakful of liquid and then raced back through the blanket of gray. Over and over, she rushed from flame to water, water to flame. The animals watched in disbelief. 
Smoke stung her eyes, and a ribbon of coughs tumbled across the sky when her beak was empty. Even when her delicate wings got singed, she didn't give up. She flew back and forth, one drop, then another, then one drop more. <coughs> Finally, the lion roared. Enough of this! You're too small! A few specks of water won't settle this fury! What do you think you're doing? The other animals agreed. Before taking another drop of water into her beak, the little hummingbird turned to the lion, the rhino, the elephant, and all the animals of the great forest that were bigger and stronger than her, and said, I'm doing all I can. A quiet hush spread across the jumble of animals. Then the lion looked at the chimpanzee, and the chimpanzee looked at the okapi, the okapi turned to the giraffe, and the giraffe turned toward the bear. But it was the elephant that stepped forward first, breaking the surface of the river with her trunk. Soon all the animals, both large and small, gathered side by side along the water's edge, ready to do all they could to save their forest home together. To learn more about the history of the Little Hummingbird story, read the author's note. And to learn more facts about the hummingbird and the animals featured in this story, continue reading. The end. To find The Courage of the Little Hummingbird and other books by Leah Henderson, visit your local library.